Post relationships allow you to connect different posts, pages, and custom post types in a website. And then when you're displaying an item, you can easily display any information that's connected to it. Let's look at an example to understand the power of post relationships. We'll build a website for events. Each event will list several speakers. Of course, each speaker can appear in different events. Now, you could build this website with a single custom post type called events and list each speaker in a table. But what if you need to update the photo of the speaker? In this case, John Stone. You need to manually edit each event John is in. Post Relationships solves this problem. We create posts not only for events, but we also create posts for speakers. And then they point to each other. So, if we update John's one post, all events he is in also update. If we build this site with post relationships, we can do a lot more than just list the speakers for each event. We can easily create pages for speakers and list all the events they speak in. We can allow users to search for events according to speaker and vice versa. And we can easily export and import events and speakers. We can take it even further, adding in talks. Let's say a big corporation or event company does many events throughout the year. At each event, there are multiple talks with multiple speakers. Those are three separate items. Events, talks, and speakers. There are many ways you can mix and view information through the connections you're about to learn. Let's step through the different kinds of post relationships that exist. One-to-one. -one. The simplest post relationship is one-to-one. -one. For example, on the toolset cooking demo site, here is a recipe page, and on it is a video. Now this video could have been placed here manually, but instead, this video is connected only to this recipe. The advantage is that we can also have another page with all the videos and make that page searchable. This is because the videos are not just fields, but their own post type. One to many. One to many relationships get even more interesting. For example, a city can have many streets but streets can only be part of one city. So there is one city and many streets that we can create a relationship for. Or on the gyms and trainers website, a trainer is one person, but they can have many sessions. Many to many. A really robust kind of post relationship is the many to many. On Toolset's speakers and events website, there are many events that are taking place, and each of these events have many speakers. But it also works in the reverse. A speaker doesn't just speak at one event, like a street can only be in one city. A speaker in this case can be at many events. So the relationship looks like this. Many to many with intermediary. Sometimes you need to take this even further with a third item in between. For example, like we said before, a large company might schedule several events throughout the year. And at each event, there are different talks all day long. Now at each talk, there are speakers. So we can set up an intermediary where there are events, talks, and speakers. The talk is the bridge that binds the events to the speakers. You can also flip this around depending on your needs. Just to help you fully understand this concept, here's another example. A many-to-many -many relationship might be venues to bands. Because there are many venues and bands can play at any venue, but you can also add in venues, bands, and band members because musicians sometimes play in more than one band. There are many bands and many venues. Now that you have the concept, 
Jump into the next video to see how Toolset makes it very easy to set up post relationships with just a few clicks.